This is Dr. Andreo Spina with FunctionalAnatomyBlog.com and FunctionalAnatomySeminars.com. Today I am just going to uh, demonstrate a, an effective hip opening sequence. Um, this is a sequence that can be utilized um, to improve mobility in the hip capsule, um, either for training purposes or for uh, warming up prior to exercise bouts that will involve um, a lot of hip mobility, like squats, for, for example. example. Now you'll notice that all of the transitions are done actively, um, thus making it a mobility training sequence rather than a flexibility training sequence. Of course, the, to define mobility is flexibility plus strength. So in working these transitions, we're teaching the hips to be able to utilize whatever range of motion they have available to them. Um, as opposed to passively stretching um, the hips themselves. So we're starting in a 90-90 or question mark position uh, challenging the anterior leg in external rotation. You want to try to support your own body weight in that position. And now we're transitioning to uh, leaning towards the posterior leg, this time challenging the capsule into internal rotation. Now we're actively transitioning to the bare sit and we're forcefully bringing those knees down to the ground to try to get as close to the ground as we can. And there we saw the transition to the contralateral 90-90 or question mark position. Now we're going to open the rear leg up again very slowly keeping the foot, both feet in contact with the ground as we move into our um, transition again. So we're starting at the um, we're at the starting position again. Now from this position without using your hands you're going to transition into a full squat. Okay, We're going to hold that and then we're going to start to dip the legs internally. Uh, keeping the feet flat on the floor we're bringing the entire lower limb down to touch the surface of the ground. This is all done actively. Now from this we're going to bring our heels forward to make a line with our feet and as I lean forward with my arms and torso I'm leaning back with my pelvis and this one we call the cricket position. Now back to the squat and now we transition once again into the 90-90. For a more specific uh, description of this mobility sequence you can see the full blog post at functionalanatomyblog.com.